Okay, I just got my Thrive order in, so I figured I would do a little bit of a grocery haul. I got some honey. I got, y'all know my favorite salsa ever. I actually got two of those. So salsa, you guys are going to see I'm expanding my horizons a little bit here with what I got because, well, hot sauce is just for Jay. We got some trap hot sauce. This stuff right here is so pricey, but I obviously am not a hot sauce person. I've tried like the white one. Uh, not bad, but whenever I have hot sauce, I feel like that's all you can taste. You can't even taste the real food. Jay says that's what he likes about it. So that we got some truck. And then I got, well, let's try to do like the things that aren't snacks first. So pizza sauce, I'm going to... I think that we're going to do like a homemade pizza night. So almond flour or not, I think we've got the stuff. We're going to do it. Almond flour from Simple Mills. You guys will see a lot of Simple Mills in here as always. Primal Kitchen, another really good brand. And this is their unsweetened pasta sauce. Some marinara sauce. And I've done this with spaghetti squash before. And I've also tried this kind before. I kind of forget what I thought about like the boxed spaghetti squash. But sometimes it's like a pain to do it yourself. Uh, so, and this is only, this is only one ingredient. It says that it makes four servings, which I know I normally do like a full half of a, uh, of a spaghetti squash when I do it myself. And then the other half is Jay's. I got some spring roll wrappers, which would do with some shrimp, some avocado, cucumber, carrots, a little bit of spring mix. And then you can dip it in like a peanut, peanut butter, uh, coconut amino type sauce to do like a peanut I guess like a peanut sauce as you normally would do and then do a little bit of sesame seeds on it giving y'all some ideas because that's kind of what I bought these things for some brown coconut sugar I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with this but I want to start baking so I got some baking dark chocolate and then I also which Hue's a great brand and then I also got some um brown sugar just for whatever I'll need that for Lots of rice cakes, always need to stock up on those. And then got some different mix-ins to do in the protein ice cream with my Ninja. Some, and this is also not sponsored all this ever. I just, I'm just showing my grocery haul because sometimes um, I work with Thrive, but I also order it regardless. So the uh, nut butter sandwiches are just like Oreo dupes, but less ingredients. I think that they only have, yeah, right here are the ingredients. And then also the sweet thins, which I love. We've got Heavenly Hunks, which my mom put me onto these. And I love, love, love them. And then also Purely Elizabeth, one of my favorite kinds of granola. And then also have some peanut butter pretzels. I don't even think that I said good morning or welcome to this vlog or anything, but good morning guys. I just jumped right into it. I was like, oh, here's my groceries. And, um, but good morning. I figured I would take you guys through the next couple days. I'm clearly fried. If you saw my last vlog, then you know on the 4th of July, I got absolutely, I got uh, murdered by the sun. I did. And I've been trying everything to try and like just minimize the sunburn and I have a little bit of makeup on right now because I had some stuff that I needed to record but I've really not been putting on much makeup and I've also been trying to do like normal aloe or like the natural aloe rather than like the in a bottle that you buy and then also I've heard like so many mixed things I'm like wait but don't do that that can actually be poisonous and that can make you do this and don't use aquaphor but then other people are like i use aquaphor and that helps so much and like there's just so many different things out there so let's pray that i'm like doing the right things for my skin and i'm hoping i keep saying to jay i'm like does it look any better and he's like it's been 24 hours like it's literally been a day you're it's gonna take some time and he got absolutely fried on his back like we just i never get burnt and i never really go out in the sun for that long and i think that's why i'm just like a little bit worried that i'm gonna start peeling so that's why I look like a tomato. But I wanted to come in here, I'm in my office, and get some work done. So I'm going to be on my computer for the next little bit, but I also got tons of different things from uh, Amazon in. So after I get a little bit of work done, I want to show you guys some stuff. And first I'll show you my outfit. I didn't get a ton of stuff in from Amazon necessarily like right recently, but I have uh, kind of been like stockpiling them in here so that I can get some photos for my blog and also just to show you guys like the fit of stuff. These shorts are probably one of my new favorite pairs of like lounge shorts type athletic shorts. They are just so stinking good. They're like the most perfect length. 
Let me see if I can get them to spot where you can see them really well. And they are the best material. Like these actually give me Lululemon vibes. And I know a lot of people say like dupe on Amazon. These are, I think that I like them better than any lounge shorts that I've gotten from Amazon. So I'll make sure to link these, this tank top and everything else I show you, but I'm going to do some emails first. I just wanted to do a little outfit check. And then I also realized I haven't even said hello or good morning, but I'm Sydney. If you're new here, welcome. I normally just show lots of lifestyle content, cooking, recipes, some workouts. I do uh, lots of fitness stuff because I am an online fitness coach and I show a lot of like, just moved into my new house. So show lots of home stuff and honestly, just take you guys through my life. So good morning guys. Actually, is it even morning? Nope, it's 12.05, so good afternoon. Okay, here's another Amazon find. So they're these shorts that actually are like so similar to my set active ones, except these ones are a little bit thinner. I have like a muted purple one from, or pair from set active, and these ones just feel like a little bit less thick and structured. So I think they're a little bit comfier to have as like a lounge pair, and I actually think they're a little bit more flattering, surprisingly. But they look pretty much, honestly, pretty much exactly the same. The next find is this sweatshirt, and I got a size medium in this. I think that it's meant to be like a pretty cropped sweatshirt, but I personally do not like sweatshirts to be tight on me. So this is the fit of a medium on me. I would probably wear this with maybe some biker shorts and I actually love like where it cuts off because I think it still gives that like oversized look but it doesn't look like too slouchy. So probably not with these shorts but maybe with some biker shorts and it has that like washed look which I really like. I think it was like 30 something bucks, which is not bad at all for a sweatshirt, but it came like vacuum sealed. So I was like opening it and I thought, okay, what are the chances of this fabric actually being good? And typically if I would have gotten it in like that and I like took it out of the vacuum seal and it just looked very wrinkled and just not promising at all. Normally I would say, I'm just gonna return this. This looks like cheapo. I washed it, I took a risk and washed it because I obviously doubt that you can return after you wash it, right? I mean, it just tags off and everything. So I washed it and was like, let's just hope for the best, whatever, I'll take one for the team. And I love it, it actually has like a really comfy feel on the inside. So this one, not bad at all. I would say size up if you want it to be like a slouchy, comfy look though. Snack time, a little break from work, come in to have a little heavenly hunk of hunk. These things are so stinking good. I wish, they really don't look good on camera, but they are, they're so stinking good. I think that I wanna try and figure out how to make these. You know, I said that I was gonna start baking and whatnot. These have rolled oats, brown rice syrup, chocolate chip, peanut butter, coconut shreds. They've got a lot of other flavor, or they've got a, a lot of other ingredients that I feel like we could do without. Some sea salt. Not that many, like not horrible ingredients by any means, but like would I need to add in potato starch? Does that just like help with the preserving of it rather than like the actual, like if I were to just make it fresh? Yeah, I think that we, I think that we could figure this out. Remember when I did this with the, oh, I was obsessing over the Alyssa's, is that what it's called? The ones that I would order from California. What are those called? Are they called Alyssa's maybe? No, that's not right. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? The ones that are like at Air One. Why am I drawing a blank? That's horrible that I, I was obsessed with them. But I was trying to make those like PB&J bars for a while and I just gave up on that. We tried for a couple days, but I think that this is a little bit, this is a little bit easier.
I am headed to dry bar right now to get a blowout. I personally, like, I don't love washing my own hair. I really don't, especially with extensions. I don't mind it without extensions. But I have a really hard time styling it in like a straight blowout. We've already gone through this whole chat before. But we have the concert tonight and I was like, I will spend more time. The last time I showed you guys that I was doing my Dyson, I think that I spent, I mean, probably two hours between washing my hair and trying to use my Dyson, drying, all of the things. So I decided I'm just gonna book a blowout because I actually had a dry bar like credit, I guess, you know? And so I'm going to do that right now and I love that because I can sit on my phone, do some work or bring my computer. I'm just doing some phone work today and like editing some videos while I get my hair washed because who the heck does not like that? Uh, and it's a special occasion because it's for the concert tonight. So I wanna feel super cute and I just got home from the gym. I had my sprouts order come literally as I was walking out the door. So I threw it all like very messy in the refrigerator. So I will show you guys what I got from sprouts when I get home. And then I have a client call probably right when I get home. I'll do my client call and then I'll show you guys. I have a call with all of my personal training clients. We basically just, or not actually all of them, just the new ones and or anyone who has not been able to do a call in the past. And it's just for them to ask questions, kind of just to give them some motivation, some advice on things, and just to chat with them. So I always love that. And I get really excited about those phone calls. So it's a happy Friday. I had a pretty good upper body workout. I did very light band TRX, and I even did a little bit of super light weight with some cables for my back just to make sure I'm not overdoing it at all. And then I did Stairmaster for 30 minutes. It was pretty brutal. So right now I'm just gonna get my hair done and then I will see you guys shortly. All right, just left dry bar and she did this in 45 minutes. I could have simply never. I'm gonna head home, get on that call and then we need to decide on what to wear for the concert tonight. A little last second on that, but Hair feels so nice and clean. When I got my order from Sprouts, I kind of just threw everything in the fridge because I had to run out the door, but I wanted to show you guys a couple different things. So I got this Chia Smash, which this is gonna be for like toast or peanut butter and jelly. I love this stuff. This one is strawberry. And then I also got like four or five of these, the Siggy's Yogurt. So I like doing this with granola and then also some fruit. I got some sweet potato fries, some more uh, some more avocados and then also some bananas which I can take these out of here I got some sourdough from their deli and I'm excited about this because it says made with three ingredients flour water and sea salt and no preservatives flavors or colors and I always forget to like look in the deli when I'm getting bread and I'll always just get like random bread like Dave's killer bread and stuff which is totally fine but I think that this stuff is like the best some fresh sourdough. I'm also interested in trying this because it's the organic peanut butter that's like fresh ground. So I think that they actually like make this in house. I'm keeping this in the fridge. I don't know if that's right or not, but I'm just excited. I'm a peanut butter obsessed fool. And then I got lots of blueberries. I think I got like six things of blueberries because I haven't gone to Sam's Club and I honestly should have just done that. But uh, Jay and I both go through blueberries like crazy. Got some carrots some green onion, and also some more sweet potatoes. I'm deciding on some options for the concert. So here is a dress option. I don't know why I'm like not in the mood to wear a dress. I'm thinking like a two-piece set or something along those lines, but this is gonna be an easy option because of course this does look pretty country, I would say. Okay, an option right here. I think that I love this and Jay agrees. We like but not really for a concert. I don't know. It is pretty cute, but I don't think it's really the vibe that we're going for. I might have a good option. Ooh. Fire. This is our best option? Yeah. Wow. I wish this we like. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to like stare at your closet and be like, wait, okay, this together? Because I would never have thought that I would yeah, wear this. No. But we like it. We like it. Do we think I can use this in the... I do. See, it like pulls the like brown... Tan, nude, whatever. Yeah. You got like brown um, stitching in the boots. 
and it like pulls it out more. I think that looks great. Okay, thank you. It. All right, I think we're good. I think that I'll do like some cute little braids right here. Yeah. <coughs> and then my uh, Boop. earrings. Boop, skip, boogie. Yeah, baby. Okay. Look at that. Good work. Okay, we're good. You. I know it's pouring out right now. It won't be though, it won't. It is currently torrential downpour and we don't have power right now. So let's hope the power comes back on. So I have a, uh, well actually I don't even need to do my hair. So I guess I just need to do my makeup, which is kind of dark in there, but I could always just bring out a mirror out here and do it since it's light out. It's so weird in Florida. It will like be storming so badly. And then the next thing you know, it, it's gonna be sunshine and butterflies. So let's hope that that's the case. Uh, and then I think I need to probably start getting ready here any second. I'm gonna have a snack and then we shall get ready. I'm just kind of like putting it off because you know when it's like that rainy mood, the last thing you wanna do is like get all cute. I just wanna be in my comfy pajamas. Like it's the middle of the day. It's like four o'clock and I am chilling like this. Hmm. Also, I kind of wish that I would have, they have two nights of this concert and I wish I would have thought it through and done a Saturday night one because I think that one's at 6.45 and this one's at 5.45 so it's still like so hot out, which it's really not that big of a deal and of course it's gonna be great either way, but that is something to think about. All right, we're all ready. Here's Jay. We're Come really down. matching each other's vibe, aren't we? Yes. Do you wanna do a little outfit check really quick? Yeah, I got Wrangler shirt. Come on now. Come on now. Got some tan jeans. I don't know what these are, but we'll just call them Wrangler as well. Okay. And then I got on my Tacovas. I was going with a, you know, neutral look. I went with kind of, you know, the brownish tan, tan, and then brownish tan. No, it looks really good. I think it came out pretty well. Yeah, those all came all together. Think? Scale of one to 10. I'll say 11. How's the drip? Big drip of stand up in the ocean. Big drip, big drip of stand up in the ocean. <laughs> Here's my outfit. What's so funny is that none of this is like what I ordered for the concert. Nothing. I ordered probably like what oh, my lotion needs to be. Um, but I have this, this is from Amazon. I've got to put a couple things in here. It's Madewell brand, but I think that this looks so good. Hopefully I'm allowed to bring it into the concert. I think normally at uh, Raymond James, they just put you in a line to check purses, right? And then this belt, I think it's from Revolve. Dress, I think it's also from Revolve. I forget the brand of it. And then, oh, Rag and Bone. And then my Tacova boots. Woo! Oh, you can't forget the best part. Country girl, shake it for me, girl. Shake it for me, girl. Shake it for me. Oh, and my Amazon Sunnies. Oh, they're dirty. From yeah, the baby. We decided we were too hungry and we stopped at Kava. Here's your fork. Are you sure you, oh, I was looking <laughs> We both got build your own bowls. All right, we're headed in. I'm not gonna bring my camera, obviously, but I'll get some clips on my phone. And I'm so excited! <laughs> Are you excited? I'm so excited. Woo! No cones, we on the way, my boy. We on the way. We just needed a little food in us. Yes. And we have way more energy now. It's the first time I've done it in probably two months. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm really excited about it. And, uh, when I first moved to Nashville. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. I haven't even talked to you guys since the concert last night, but it was so much fun. We also, like, we got rained on. It was hot as heck, but we uh, we made it through, didn't we? Great time. We got there and Jay was like, man, against I probably shouldn't odds. have worn, yeah, it didn't, yeah, against all odds, it did not stop us. We got there and Jay was like, oh, I am dying of heat. It was so hot and we had walked so much. Yeah, the outfit wasn't the issue, it was, us going we walked to do two different wrong entrances that our tickets wouldn't allow us to. We were getting rejected at these two entrances, so. We both we were like. walked all the way around and it was just blazing. Our immediate thought was when our tickets were getting declined, we were like, did we somehow get fake tickets? I don't know how that would have worked through Ticketmaster because like it went to our phones, but 
regardless, we had to go all the way around the stadium because it was at Raymond James. And then we were both sweaty, sweaty. I can't even imagine if I wore that jean long sleeve. I would have been, I, I would have ended up having to take it off and just be in that like bikini top thing, which would have, yeah, um, been a look. But uh, now we're headed to the gym. We actually both were gonna do a run this morning. It's gonna have to be postponed for a little bit because torrential downpour this morning as soon as we were about to go and it's just looking like a pretty gloomy morning but we're headed to the gym get a little bit of workout in and then have ourselves a saturday not much going on today which is kind of nice we can just do some stuff around the house and run some errands right relaxing relax a little it's like the first saturday ever no plans honestly it feels odd but it feels good I know, like we don't have one single thing that we have to be to. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and also we were like thinking that we were gonna be, well, I thought we were gonna be a little bit late last night because I thought it was just Riley Green. Actually, Riley Green wasn't even there. I don't even know where I got that information. I thought yeah. Riley Green was an opener. I thought I saw that. But it was um, not even until like almost nine o'clock that Luke Combs got on. So we got there at probably like 6.45 or seven because we went to Kava and the concert like started at 5.45. I can't even imagine if we would have gotten there at five o'clock. We would have been concert out because it was so, so hot. And there was Gary Allen, then Lainey Wilson. Is that her last name? And then uh, Luke. Luke Combs. Yeah, I guess that was it. Luke Maybe there was someone before Gary before. Allen because that was... Yeah, no, 4.40, or yeah, 5.45 would have been insane. Something else, yeah. yeah. Insane. But I there's... Have been screaming. You kind of were. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, y'all, yeah, I almost had, like, a panic attack. The heat was no joke. I, like, actually felt for you, though, because when we went to Epcot, and I wore those parachute pants, yeah. and parachute pants, honestly, they're, like, a little bit more airy than what you had on, and you're wearing cowboy boots and stuff. Oh my gosh, it's the worst feeling ever, feeling like you're just like, I mean, it almost makes you feel sick because you're so, so hot. And you really kind of had to wear pants unless you were going to wear like jean shorts with your cowboy boots. So. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, cowboy boots are out of the picture for any Florida concert in the summer again. We should get you some jorts. Some jean shorts <laughs> cut George. off. I used to wear jorts. With cowboy boots? I feel oh, like jorts would be pretty cute though. Not with cowboy boots, but yeah. So there's our little update for y'all. Fun night and yeah, we're gonna have a little Saturday. Actually really glad that we went to last night's concert and not tonight, cause it's gonna be probably a lot worse weather, even though we just got like briefly rained on yesterday. Ooh, sweaty. I just was like, I need to make a mental reminder. One, that I need to bring a towel. How about you? I need to start bringing a towel in the car with me so that I don't sit on my seats with a sweaty hot mess. Actually, we have a towel right here. Yep. From the 4th of July. Okay. Put that behind me. And then also, I need to make sure I continue to do this when I'm doing cardio so that my hair doesn't get all tingly and sweaty. I just look like a crazy person in gym, but that's okay. Today is a day of being back in pajamas after getting a workout in. We went to the gym and I did a little bit of like full upper body. I'm still keeping it pretty light. And yesterday at the concert, I think that we kind of were like hunched over a little bit because we were so crammed in there. And then also it was raining. So I was like kind of doing one of these numbers and my back's definitely still bothering me, but I'm just going to make sure then I'm doing lots of stretching, making sure I'm keeping my shoulders back today. And maybe a heating pad and ice pack is on the horizon today. But I got a couple of things in. Actually, we got some stuff in from 1UP. It's for both me and Jay. I got the Brookies to put in my, I think Jay likes, the, do you like the Brookies or do you like the protein bars better, Jay? I like the Brookies. Okay, so got these. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I got them to do is like a mix in with the Ninja Creamy. And they're so stinking good. I figured heat them up and then put them in the Ninja like after it's made rather than doing like a mix in for it. And then for the protein bars, they're just good to have on the run. Um, Jay went through, I think he was doing the s'mores ones for a while and maybe it was, 
I don't know, like we got the blueberry cobbler ones this time and those ones are so stinking good. And then I also got some stuff in from Revolve, so I'm gonna open that up. But I'm wearing this set, sleep set, and it is the comfiest thing ever. So cozy to just like, I don't know, I don't plan on leaving the house hardly at all today, if at all. Just get some stuff done. Jay's about to go on a run because it's like cleared up for a second with the rain, but it's just kind of a, a gloomy day out. So we'll do a little holly haul with the Revolve stuff. We have a couple beachy tricks coming up, so I wanted to get some beachy clothes. I got this halter top right here. Really cute, and I envision myself wearing this with a pair of white pants or even find a skirt that I can wear, like maybe like a white skirt. I just think that's so cute. Can you see what the material looks like on that? And then I've never gotten a Hunza, is it called Hunza G or something? Hunza bathing suit? Um, yeah, Hunza G. But they're like a one size bathing suit, which I've never really understood how that works, but everyone I've seen wear them. Like uh, Rachel Ottenreath, she wears them all the time. Like how is this a one size? I'm not really sure, but it definitely feels like it would be like a a stretchy, comfy material. And then here are the bottoms. I have a very hard time feeling like, or thinking that this would be like a one size fits all. Because I just, bathing suits are so, are so tricky to fit perfectly. But I will keep you guys updated on that. I got this really pretty bubblegum pink one. This is from Free People. I love my Free People. And it's just this it almost looks like a little baby doll dress. I don't know what the name of this is. Does it say on here? Like this little dress. Or is this a shirt? Why is this looking a little small? I think I purchased this to have it as a dress. This looks really short. Yep, gonna have to try that one on. Looks kinda showy show. And then I got this dress, which this one is so cute. Oh, I wasn't really expecting it to be silky. And this is a halter, oh wait, no it's not. It's one of these ones, which I like. The super deep V neck, and then this one's actually silk. I wasn't really expecting it to be silky, but we have a trip to, we're going to the Keys, and then we're also going to the Bahamas. So I was like, I need some cute, summery looking vacay dresses, and I don't have a single thing that's that color. Pretty. And then I'm super duper excited about this. Kind of a hit or miss, but it gives me like coastal grandma, not even grandma, like just coastal vibes. And this one's from three people as well. This is a size small. I mean, wait, no, I think I actually have an extra small because they're so oversized. It said like recommend, yeah, I got an extra small. So um, I thought that this would be really cute with maybe some, I just smacked myself in the face, some like linen pants or even just some like little navy shorts to have as a cover up. Cute. So a lot of that was kind of free people grind lately. Those over here. Then I also am about to set up, long overdue, but set up an olive tree in the master or in the primary bedroom. So I'm gonna go do that. I've had the vase for it for quite some time and it took actually a really long time for the olive tree to come in. But we were waiting around to do anything with the vase. I haven't even opened it yet vase planter i guess whatever you want to call it so let's do that in the room and let's just do let's just do some stuff around the house first i'm gonna put this stuff away right here a couple other restocks i feel like we've had to get so many restocks on protein powder lately i went a really long time without like having protein every single day and now i've been doing so much ninja creamy and then jay has 500 scoops of protein powder a day what do you say you probably do three scoops of protein a day? Maybe he's not even in here. <laughs> Have a good run.
I'll just have to get some sea moss for this or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. What you think? I love it. Okay, I think this looks really nice. Actually, I did the seven foot of the olive tree and then this giant planter, but I have a vision for this because I'm gonna get something. I know some people will just put books underneath, but I'm gonna get something to kind of put that up a little bit higher in there just because there's probably a good, I don't know, what would you say? Almost like a foot in there where I can lift that and then put some kind of like moss, sea moss type stuff. And then, uh, which I did actually in the living room one. So I can lift that and then it will be probably more so like up to right here. And then I can even kind of like feather these out just a little bit more. I did it quite a lot actually, but I think that I could even do it to like each individual leaf to make it look a little bit more full but man that looks good because we had a big old empty space right there i don't know exactly what we want to do right there i'm thinking a mirror maybe i would love to have a mirror in here a full length one because jay has one in his office but i don't have one uh, other than like going into his office to see what my outfit looks like and then in my office which that is like very far away from the primary room so Probably think of a mirror right there. I just need to decide like what kind of outline rim type frame for a mirror would look good. Uh, or we can do some kind of artwork, which I'm still trying to decide because a lot of people are saying like sconces, is that how you say it? On each one uh, or oversized lamps. So we've got some options here. Also don't mind the bed because I need to do the sheets today. So that's what we have happening on this side. I just have these two vases because I don't even know what we're going to do. Probably put those elsewhere. Um, just since I have the olive branches over there and that's kind of originally what I was going to do in these. So this is kind of just to imagine what it would look like if we have something on this side as well. And I even think it would look cute if we did like some books on each side or something. So still playing around with it, but I think that looks really, really nice actually really good quality because I spent way too much on the other one. I got the other one from Potter. No, I got the other one from our house and it was probably, I think it was like probably five times the amount of this, which is sickening. <laughs>
Hi guys, happy Sunday. I really haven't even chatted with you guys in, honestly, probably almost a whole day because I did the tree yesterday and then after that, my back was like really, really struggling. And I just was like, not in a good mood because of it. I think that this whole back situation, if you haven't watched my previous vlogs, my back has just been, it's been an issue for a while and now it's been a really big issue in the last couple weeks. So I thought I had like a couple days of relief and I'm not lifting right now. I'm just doing uh, the TRX exercises and banded exercises that my PT wants me to do. And just like hope that I can strengthen I have like scapular winging, but also I think that I have a shortened pec minor. That's honestly just from like my own knowledge. He didn't say that, so I need to ask him that this week, uh, which makes my shoulders round forward, or maybe it just needs to be stretched out some more. And long story short, I have like these, I have like a knot really badly, like within my, I guess it's my shoulder blade, like right by my shoulder blade, and it constantly is like radiating pain all throughout my neck all throughout my right side and it's hard to do really anything it's hard to do my work on a computer it's hard to i think jay's car is connected to jay's car or jay's phone's connected to my car because he just drove by and then his music started playing but uh it's hard to do my work on my computer it's hard to edit it's hard to literally do anything and so yesterday i just got so frustrated and i finally was like okay i'm not feeling any relief like sitting down trying to rest i think i just need to go on a run because it's not going to hurt it more necessarily i just need to strengthen that spot and y'all i ran three and a half miles without stopping i think like i just loved the fact that like i didn't have pain on that side i was just like focusing on my breathing i didn't even listen to music i was just like mentally i needed that and that's why like injuries or anything that's bothering me sickness stuff like that it gets in my head so much because that is like my stress relief when i can get movement and i just go stir crazy a little bit when i can't so that was kind of where it was yesterday and then this morning we decided to just watch church at home do a little bit of cleaning and then i just left the gym i was doing some of my trx exercises my band exercises and then i also did stairmaster to get some movement and i just felt so good to do stairmaster i can kind of rest my arms a little bit so it doesn't bother doesn't bother me too too much but i'm just praying for some relief you know here soon and it is it it's getting there we'll get there it really has not changed much or improved but i is just it's just a work in progress it's going to take some time so i wanted to end off this vlog because i obviously didn't yesterday and today not a ton happening jay's off getting groceries so i will just go home now and have something to eat it's like three o'clock right now and then we'll start the week off tomorrow so thanks so much for watching this vlog and i will see you guys in my next one love y'all and adore y'all